Welcome to the Library Shorts. Today we will be going over what an EBSCO project is, how to create one, and what they are used for. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to create a project within your EBSCO account, you will first need to go to a database hosted by EBSCO. You can do this by selecting an EBSCO database from our A to Z database page, or by simply selecting this search bar on the White Caps One search. You will need to log in to your EBSCO account in the top right hand corner. If you do not have an EBSCO account or do not know how to create one, you can always check out our short video on how to create an EBSCO account. Once you are logged in, you will be able to confirm that you are logged in with your initials in the top right hand corner. On the left hand side, you will want to then select projects. As you can see here, I currently have no project started. In order to create a new project folder, you can select the plus icon next to the project's title. Once you select a name, a due date, and a description, you can then select create. The due date I would recommend putting at the end of every semester. Now your project is ready for you to start saving articles to. In order to save an article to your project, all you need to do is locate an article that you would like to save and click the plus sign with the folder icon. You will then select your project to save to and select add now. Now when we go back to our projects folder, you will see that you have your list of saved articles in that one location. Thank you for tuning in to this library short, and we hope you have a wonderful day.